Oh, hello, I'm Mad Mike Hughes, and I'm in my living room here in Apple Valley, California. And if it looks like a museum, it actually is. It's uh, kind of a, a place where I live, but uh, it's got history here from 40 years of rockets and land speed and whatever. But this video is to start and actually Kickstarter Kickstarter campaign and explain what this is all about and to make history and make an exclusive event just for the people on Kickstarter. In other words, no one can walk into this off the street and watch this. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to break my record of uh, 1,374 foot, which is the longest jump in Daredevil history, which I set in January of 2014 in, in Arizona. We're going to bring this to the Los Angeles area. February 12th at Willow Springs Raceway, which is around 60 miles from Los Angeles. It's down uh, Highway 14. In fact, uh, that's where all the car commercials are, are actually uh, filmed here in Southern California now. It's, uh, and plus uh, a lot of the reality shows dealing with cars and races and whatever. So uh, it's a historical place. It was opened up in 1953, and they've approved this jump. So what we're trying to do is jump over half a mile with my steam rocket. And I am the only person that's done this since Evil Knievel attempted it 41 years ago at the Snake River. And we all know he never tried it again. And there's a lot of reasons why, and, and I'm not going to speculate, but uh, I think it uh, scared him to death. And uh, when I strapped myself in my rocket in January 2014, I didn't know what the results was going to be. And uh, after taking a 20G landing hit, um, I thought about it for a while if I was going to do it again, because it's, uh, it's something scary to do and very dangerous. Um, we had another jump scheduled for six months later, June 28th of uh, 2014, and we had an accident at the, uh, on the launch ramp, and basically almost uh, we s injured uh, someone pretty seriously, and uh, two other people uh, sustained injuries, and uh, and plus I wiped out my rocket. So since then, until right now, I've been rebuilding my whole my whole program. Now we want to unveil everything just for Kickstarter people. There's several reasons we're doing this. One is to instill people to do great things with their lives, okay? Instead of watching TV or fantasy football or wondering what's happening on Xbox or who's your, your friends on Facebook, actually getting out in the garage, building something, and setting records. But ultimately, all this is going to lead to another Kickstarter, we hope in six months, for me to go into space. And we want to do this and basically, Thummer knows that all these billionaires trying to do this. It's got thousands of employees and spent multi millions of dollars, and they've not put a man in space yet. There is 20 different space agencies here in America. I'm the last person that's put a, a man in a rocket and launched him. Okay, so basically, this is, explains what's happening: is we're going to only allow 1,500 people from Kickstarter that helps with this project, we're going to invite them to the jump site, they get a DVD, they get a t-shirt, they get a poster, they get to see what I think is something truly historic, a man built, building his own rocket, sitting in it, and launching himself over half a mile. So basically, this is going to be a rocket fest, just for the people on Kickstarter that supported this, and uh, we will have every child that, that shows up that day with their, with their parents will be able to go home with their own little uh, ro uh, launchable rocket. So we think it's just going to be something they'll think about for the rest of our lives. And, uh, and uh, it's part of a documentary movie. It's part of a, re a reality show we're working on. And uh, you'll be a part of it. Okay, I also want everyone to know uh, that we've, I've already got the, the new rocket built. We've got the new propulsion system built. I've turned my motor home into a mobile launch platform, which is uh, close to being halfway done now. So basically, I've done everything I can possibly do on my own to make this happen. But anytime you try to do something, there's all these fees, you know, between the insurance and, and renting the facility, the security. I mean, it just it is absolutely endless what it takes to do something like this. And then all the legal crap you got to deal with and the security. So that's, that's why we need your help. And that's the only way that's going to happen is with your help. Because there's no uh, there's no one out there with a paycheck or actually a check right now to give me a hundred thousand dollars or or whatever to make this happen. It's not out there. That's not the kind of world we live in anymore. So uh, um, we appreciate your your concern, your time, and uh, be part of history because uh, we believe uh, this will lead to the biggest thing a private individual's ever done ever in 2016. 
Hi Kickstarters, I'm Richard Chamberlain and welcome to my editing bay. I'm a documentary filmmaker and I'm really proud to be involved in the madness in Mojave. Together with Mad Mike Hughes, we are going to make the coolest day for Kickstarter crowdfunders that ever was. Mad Mike has built his own steam rocket. Basically, you fill a compartment full of water, make it boil, and then pull the plug. And away he goes. Guys, we're talking zero to over 320 miles an hour in two seconds. So what we're going to do is he's going to throw a party for everybody to come and watch him set his new world record. He's going to attempt for over half a mile at Willow Springs Raceway. In his 2014 jump, Mad Mike nearly lost his life when the parachute shredded after deployment. Now, we talked about having a regular day for just anybody to come, but we decided that this would be a funner day and it would be a more memorable experience for Kickstarter crowdfunders, for the community of Kickstarter, to be able to come out and have a day just for them. And we're going to have rockets. We've, we're planning on having a rocket go-kart to run down the raceway track. We've set up so we're going to have remote control cars to run like a little NASCAR so everybody can just stand around and watch the, the RC cars race each other. We've talked to a, an amateur rocketry company and they're going to be bringing out the regular, you know, solid booster rockets and launching rockets so kids can sit there all day and, you know, count down from 10, 9, 8, 7 and launch these rockets. You know, we want to have a rocket fest. And we want to have it just for Kickstarter. So we've got an area for about 1,250 people. And that area is about a quarter of a mile to a half mile from the launch pad. It, it has a nice view of the arc of the jump. And then right next to the launch pad, we've got the rocket house. And in there, we're going to have live music and drinks and, and uh, food. And that is right next to the launch pad. You're talking about 500 feet, 600 feet from the launch pad. You're going to feel the launch instead of just hear it. We've also got a whole crew of cameramen out there. We're going to document this whole event, which will be part of our reality documentary about Mike building a, a rocket in his garage and taking it to space later this year. So we want to invite all of you Kickstarters out to come out and have a rocket day, have a day where we're going to have rock music, live bands, we're going to rock it. So we want you to come out and we want you to come and bring your family and have a day to remember. You know, Mad Mike's already got the rocket completely built. The launch vehicle is almost finished and all we need is you, Kickstarter, to make history on February 12, 2016.